Hey guys, today we're looking at our first aquatic creature, a crayfish. Let's take a closer look. So, here he is, and uh, I'm in appearance. Obviously, this is a baby lobster in appearance. In fact, maybe people were even mistaken them for a, uh, a baby lobster because they are, I mean, they, they look like lobsters, just tiny lobsters. But let's uh, look at the anatomy of this creature. So we'll get the two claws here. So this claw right here is the ripper claw. This, this claw right here that I'm kind of moving around, that's the ripper. I mean, that's the crusher claw. And they use this to crush the shell of, say, a snail. Then there's the ripper claw. The ripper claw would rip the actual snail out. And they then eat it with these little claws there on their feet. See those? It's kind of moving around. Now, look at his tail. To in total, they're made out of they're 20 body segments. So they're, they're broken down in two parts like a spider, the cephalothorax, and the abdomen, which is this kind of flexy part here. Sorry about that. That was a fly on me, but. Okay, so see how it's like, see how when it goes in? They will do that to kind of flick away from predators. Like they'll flick it really fast and they'll actually like swim backwards to get away from predators. Now look at this tail fin. Look at how it could like spread out like that. And then it can compact back in. That's really cool. I like how that works. Now most of their body segments are obviously back here in the tail. Now this is most likely a full grown male. The females do get a bit smaller. And if their claw gets ripped off, um, they like can actually regrow it. Like if it gets ripped off in a fight or by a predator, they can actually regrow it. In fact, I'll show you a picture of one we caught that wasn't big enough to show, but did have a bad claw. So you saw that claw that was about kind of looked like the closed one of the foot claws. Did you see that? Right there, that. You see that? That's when they flick and get away from predators. Well, he's doing it again. Normally that means like I need to get him back in water, so I'm gonna dip him here. There you go. Alright. Anyway. So they have two antenna here. Pretty cool. Now you see that area right there? See these two parts here by the claws? See that part that I kind of moved out of the way there? Um, in between those parts, like right, right there, right, I'm trying to avoid being pitched, right there. That's his mouth. And here's his eyes right here, and they can actually like compress into the body when they get scared. So you can like compress in, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but then kind of go in there so uh yeah they got lumpy skin here it, it's kind of rough why don't you reach out in there and feel that yeah still a little scared bud but you're scared for the beetle but this one's not gonna okay whatever anyway yeah really cool creatures but i am gonna take a pinch from crusher claw and ripper claw and the foot claw even though they've been pitching me this whole time yeah that that doesn't hurt that, that, i mean it's pinching, but it, it's not really anything. Now we're gonna do the crusher claw first, like I'm a prey item, a snail, I guess. Ready? One, two, three. Ow! Ooh, 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 ow, ow, ooh, that actually really hurts. Ah, 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 ooh, 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 ah. Hold on, let me get, I need to get this guy off. Ah. Ah, there's a little, ah, look at that. There's a little mark there. You see it? You see that mark there? Look, it's better to see on this side. All right, let's try the ripper claw. Ooh, okay, um, I'm gonna hold crusher claw. So it can't reach. One, two, oh, I get to get this thing open. Um, buddy, open your ripper claw. Uh, open up the pinch. Um, hold on a second. I need to get this. Oh, 
Oh, there goes a tail flick again. Um, oh, hold on. I need to hold this crystal coin. There we go. Ripper cloth. All right. <laughs> Ripper cloth. Oh, oh. Ah, this isn't working. Uh, hold on. All right, let's see if we can get this Ripper cloth to pinch me. Oh, all right, come on. Right. I gotta open it up and then I gotta put my finger in it. Um, he's immediately thinking flight. Um, come on. Oof. Yeah, he got me. Uh, the, I, uh, I think the crusher claw's worse. Yeah, there's not really a mark there. Um, yeah, the Crusher Claw is definitely worse. All right, yeah, I did eat. Okay. Now, another thing is that the back feet have just one hook, like, just just one. You see the back feet there? They just got one little hook. Let's get away. No, that Ripper Claw, that Crusher Claw is definitely very strong. I mean, you saw that market lift, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that was bad. Oh, look at him. He's blowing bubbles. You see that? See him blowing bubbles? Look at his mouth. See his mouth? He's blowing bubbles. They actually do that sometimes. I forget why, but they that's what they do. Look at the design. Now, like insects, they do have an exoskeleton. It's very rough and rigid. There are, in 10, I have too many segments to count. I mean, seriously, that's a lot of segments. I can just feel all the ridges on it. Those are probably most likely all segments. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a proboscis, but I think we've done too much talking after pinch. So, um, pretty much all there is to say, so goodbye. All right, time to release this crayfish.